Senior Gremio. Senior Gremio. You came from the church? As worldly as error. I came from the school. And is the bride and bridegroom coming home? A bridegroom? Say you, it is a groom indeed. A groveling groom that the girl shall find. Cursed her than she? Tis impossible. Why, he's a devil. A devil. Very thin. Tut, she's a lamb, a dove, a fool to him. I'll tell you, Sir Lucentio, when the priest should ask if Catherine should be his wife, ah, my gawk's wounds, quoth he, and swore so loud that all amazed the priest let the fall the book. And as he stopped again to take it up, the mad brain bridegroom took him such a cuff that down fell the priest and the book, and the book and the priest. Now take them up, quoth he, if any lists. What said the wench when he rose again? Tremble and shook for why he stamped and swore as the vicar meant to cozen him. But after many ceremonies done, he caused for wine. A heath, quoth he, as if he had been aboard. Crossing to his mates after a storm, quaffled of the musk tail, and threw the sobs all in the Saxon's face, having no other reason but that the beard grew thin and hungry, and seemed to ask him soft. As he was drinking this done, he took the bride about the neck and kissed her lips with such clamor smack. Then all the parting, all the church did echo, and I seen this came hence for very shame. And after me knowing the rout is coming, such a mad marriage never was before. Hark, hark, I hear the minstrels play. Enter Patricio, Catherine, Bianca, Hortensio, Baptista, Gremio, and attendants. Good friends, I thank you for your pains. I know you think to dine with me today and have prepared a great store of wedding cheer, but it is to my haste doth call me hence, and therefore here I mean to take my leave. Oh, tis possible you'll be away tonight? Okay. I'll away today before an hour come. Make it no wonder if you knew my business, you would entreat me rather to go this day. And honest company, I thank you all that have beheld me and give away myself to this most patient, sweet, and virtuous wife. Dine with me, my father, to drink health to me, for I must hence and farewell to you all. Let us entreat you stay till after dinner. Okay, Let me entreat you. It cannot be. Let me entreat you. I'm content. Are you content to stay? So you, and you shall entreat me to stay, but yet not stay. Entreat me how you can. Now if you love me, stay. Bring me out my horse. I sir, are you ready? The old chap eating a horse? Oh. Do what thou canst. I will not go today. No nor tomorrow, not till I please myself. The door is open, sir, and there lies your way. You may be jogging whilst your boots are green for me. I'll not be gone till I please myself. Tis like you'll prove a jolly surly groom that take it on you, sit the first around me. Okay, content thee, for thee be not angry. What hast thou to do? Father, be quiet. He shall stay at my leisure. Ah, Mary, sir, now begins to work. Gentlemen, forward to the bridal dinner. I see a woman may be a f made a fool if she had not a spirit to resist. Forward, oh, Kate hath that command. Obey the bride, you that attend on her. Go to the feast, revel and domineer. Curus full measure to her maiden heat. Be mad and merry, or go hang yourselves, but for my bonny Kate she must with me. Nay, look not big, nor stamp, nor stare, nor fret. I will be master of what is mine own. She is my goods, my chattels, she is my house, my household stuff, my field, my barn, my horse, my ox, my ass, my anything. And here she stands, touch her whoever dare. I bring mine action on the proudest he that stops my way in Padua. Grumio, Draw forth thy weapon. We were 
Festus with thieves rescues thy mistress if thou be a man. Fear not, sweet wench. They shall not touch thee, Kate. I'll buckler thee again a million. Petruchio and Catherine exit with Grumio. In Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, the center of this play is deception. This passage is significant to the play as a whole because it is the wedding scene of Catherine and Bergugio, which, because of this scene, Bianca is now allowed to be married to one of her suitors. It also shows how Bergugio is attempting to tame Catherine. The passage takes place at the church and at Baptista's house after the wedding. Before this passage, Bergugio was late to the wedding, and when he arrived, well after he was supposed to arrive, on a raggedy old horse. Also, he was horribly dressed with everybody on edge. Then he commands to see Catherine, who is in tears because at this, because she would not think he would show up. And he tries to be married right away, horribly dressed and all. And that where the passage, and that's where the passage starts. The characters in the scene are Tranio, Grumio, Gramio, Petruccio, Catherine, Bianca, Hortensio. Baptista and attendants. The mood of this scene is very tense. In this passage, it starts out with Gremio giving a detailed description of the wedding scene between Catherine and Petruccio. How Petruccio swears in the church. How at the end of the wedding between Catherine and Petruccio, he pushes over the priest. Then Gremio goes on to describe the act of the wedding scene where Petruccio is drinking and where he throws a cake in the church officer's face because, as Petruccio put it, his beard looked thin and hungry. Then he gave Catherine a big, loud kiss. Then Petruccio, Catherine, Bianca, Hortensio, Baptista, Gremio, and attendant came into the scene, where Petruccio tries to leave with Catherine before the after party even starts. Everyone tries to convince him to stay. They even say they will entreat him, but he is being stubborn and he wants to leave. Then Catherine begs him to let her stay and be with her family and friends. But Petruccio went, and they leave with Romeo. 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 That is the end of the scene. The scene contributes to the overall theme of the play, which is deception, because... Petruccio deceives Catherine to come with her and leave her family and friends in order to go and be tamed at his home. This passage as a whole demonstrates a larger idea in the play that manipulation and deception get people what they want and tricks people into believing something else. Thank you for the pain. I know you think you want to die with me today and have a pain rich and rich you, but so tonight. Do come over here and therefore I need to take the place. Baptiste, take the mic. Do what thou canst. It can